There it sits, Trevitt's Cafe, on this Sunday, January 29th, closing after 48 years. February 1st is the closing date. Monday, January 30th. Great day to go to Trevitt's Cafe. Forty-eight years. This is the end of an era. I'm New Year's morning. Thanks, Scott. Open menu? Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, you're not out of anything? Well, we're out of um, all our steak items and we're out of the chicken strips. That's a great thing. Catch me. Scotty, this is. Customers, there they are. <laughs> Jeez, Mr. Hirsch's food. Okay, JT special. I don't know if that's actually going to work or not. But. I can. I guess the guest chat. There's. There it is, folks. <laughs> the night it has gotten dark. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is it. Those numbers have changed. This is cool. It'll be okay. <laughs> no, it won't. This is Travitz. Travitz last night. Brent Musburger's last night. It's just bigger, and Brent Musburger is on the call. Kentucky, Georgia, you know what I'm feeling? Yeah, it feels big. It feels big. Yeah, Lee fitting big. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't sure how to really fit him on. 31st of January. Trump Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. The lights are off. The crowd uneasy. Their beloved Wildcats have lost two games in a row and never in John Fernando, this is your night. Has he lost three straight? Congratulations. Georgia thinks that they can come in here as a huge underdog and walk off with the upset. What a night at the Rock as the Cats are going to be introduced. Super Tuesday, presented by CenturyLink, continues from Lexington, Kentucky. You're watching the SEC on ESPN. Good evening. Welcome, everybody. I'm Brent Musburger. Pleased to have Jay Billis along. Want to know why I got to retire? Listen, I covered this guy when he was playing. In fact, did his last game. Just take a look. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. I'm Brett Musburger. Between them, Louisville and Duke have a combined winning streak of 37 straight games. Number 21, Jay Miller. Duke and Louisville. National championship is at stake. Ellison. He is a freshman who has led the way here tonight. A championship game that lives up to his billing. One point lead by Louisville. Phyllis puts it in. The Cardinals have won the national championship. I hope you have a better last game than I did. <laughs> oh, you had some big hoops in there, though. Uh, Jay, listen, we have a late-breaking story regarding Kentucky. So let's quickly go to Kaylee Hartog. Kaylee? Well, Brent, speed and depth are two qualities we've come to associate with Kentucky. Still love that voice, Brent Musburger. I'm going to miss him. Trevitz, I see the lights on. Down yonder. Not sure if it's still open or not. Today is the last day. January 31st, 2017. Open in 1969. Hate the end of an era. This is definitely the end of a long era. 48 years in business. Word has it they tried to put it up for sale, but no takers. The sign is still lit. Makes me wonder if it'll be permanently off tomorrow at this time. Are the lights still on? It looks like there is one car parked at Trevitz tonight. Might be all she wrote. Get up here and see if Is anybody working in there. That's it. To come and enjoy games like this with you and the fans and everybody. 
No, it's, it's just special. Well, you've made it special. Uh, uh, thank, you. thank you for all you've done. And from a lousy athlete who enjoyed having you do his games, uh, you it was an honor. Uh, you were pretty good that year. No, okay. I wasn't. You know? <laughs> no, never nervous was okay. He, he was really good. <laughs> you know, I think against a lesser defender, he could have had 50. <laughs> tell you it's uh let's go to the strategy of this game because we're sitting on a on a one-point basketball game okay?